more international couple the right other here. members of the cold Kong and Sammy couple invited another international couple <웃음> 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 우인도가 있어. 근데 한국 여자랑 외국 여자랑 그둘 중에 누구 선택할까? 이거 질문이 너무 노골적인 거 아니야? <웃음> <웃음> 노골적이지만 대답을 하자면 저는 Good morning everyone. Oh, spend your morning. I am in the company of my friend Sammy and Hello. <웃음> Which you recognize from another video? The other Bukje couple. We are in town. We're just hanging out because they came to visit us, and we are heading to the Byward Market, and um, we're gonna have some coffee at Charful Waffle. <웃음> She's kind of cute. She's kind of. Mm. Yeah. Ça fait longtemps que je me suis. Cute. cute. Oh, not me. <laughs> I'm so bad with a camera. Ah! Oh, it's so cold. It's so cold, but it's okay. I'm Quebecois. Oh, you're Quebecois now. Now oh, I. I identify as a Quebecois. Do you know what I'm saying? Vanilla latte. What? Mmm. Vanessa, do you want some? Si, Sammy. No, it's fine. I'm. Wow, you're so full. You sure? Can't tell. Okay, okay. Can't tell. Pe bulo. Okay. Yeah, pe bulo. Not pego. I said pego pa one time to say I'm full. <laughs> so we're going to the mini golf? Yes. Oh yeah, it's Hong Sak. I'm sorry, it's Korean. It's on the play for my Okay. Okay. I don't know how, how to play Korean. Bye bye. Bo. Bye bye. Bo. Oh yeah. I'm not sure what's happening. What am I supposed to like? Like, like, how am I supposed to know? Because we're rock, so yeah, we broke rock. everybody. Because so they put scissors. Oh. You got it. <laughs> So we've got more international couples <laughs> right here. Members of the cult. Kong and Sammy couple. Yo. Yeah, they've been on our channel before and we really had a good talk. So we invited another uh, international couple. Woo! Woo! Veronica and Hong Seok. Yeah, they are from Montreal. Yeah, why not interesting our new friends, Hong Seok and Veronica, another international couple. Yeah, we're yeah. growing. We're growing. growing. <laughs> we're growing. Vero, 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 Vero. Yes, my name is Veronica. I am originally born in Ukraine. Ukraine, oh. Came to Canada at 12 as immigrants. Since then, stayed in Montreal till now. Now I'm 29, so it's been 17 years. 29 is still young. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when it comes to like Canadian, outside of Canada, we normally think Canadian is like all white, yeah. right? But of course you're white, <laughs> <laughs> right, Veronica? But like um, one ethnicity, right? Yeah, yes. yeah. Exactly. Just like homogeneous. Yeah. Homogeneous, yeah, homogeneous white people. Just but, like Korean. But in Canada, like when you are here, it's totally different. Like you see like here and there, even right here, Sammy is from Morocco. Vanessa is like, Canadian, but you're from Quebec. 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 <laughs> I'm an alien. Yeah, and we have here <coughs> Veronica from Ukraine, seeing as a Canadian, right? So yeah. pretty much in Canada, it's all mixed. Mm. It's very diverse, which is nice. A lot of countries don't have that diversity, mm -hmm. especially in Montreal. In mm. Ukraine, there's not much diversity. There is some much more now, mm. but like not as much as here. 저는 어 캐나다 온지는 12년 됐고요. 뭐 해외 생활 시작한 거는 2010년부터. 
2010년 초반부터 시작하게 됐고 제가 고등학교 졸업하자마자 이제 나가게 살게 됐죠 뭐 동남아에서 좀 1, 2년 정도 살다가 이제 아메리칸 드림이라고 하죠 그치. 그 아메리칸 드림을 안고 아메리카를 뭐 미국을 가려다가 너무 비싸서 캐나다로 오게 됐죠 <웃음> 그래서 캐나다 케이스 좀 만들어 시켰다 왜죠? <웃음> 그러니까 보통 미국을 가고 싶은데 아, 이제 아, 아. 이게 이게 조금 안 되니까 이게 돈이 캐나다로 가는 학비가 너무 비싸고 뭐 이러다 그치. 보니 그때는 대학생이었으니까 그때 영주권 받기도 쉽고 그래서 뭐 아무것도 모르고 몬트리올 한 곳에 왔는데 불어를 쓰잖아요 몬트리올 프랑스어를 쓰는데 네. 그것도 모르고 왔어요 뭐 영주권 따위가 좀더 수월하다 해서 영어는 그때는 조금 알았고 네. 그 동네에 살았으니까 그렇게 와서 살다 보니까 이제 12년이 지났죠 <웃음> 학교도 다 졸업했고 이제 취업도 하고 그냥 그렇게 직장인으로 살아가고 있죠 홍석이는 이제 뭐 불어도 하고 영어도 하고 다 하잖아 그지? 뭐다 하죠 그러면... 불어는, 불어는 어떻게 늘었어? 불어요? 어. 불어는 일단은 그 당시에는 이민을 위해서는 불어 점수를 충족했어야 됐으니까 아. 그래서 아니, 솔직히 얘기해 봐 거, 언어를 네. 공부로 익히진 않았을 거 아니야 가장 언어를 공부할 때 중요한 포인트는 제가 영어도 배우고 불어를 배웠지만 은 어, 외국인과 연애를 하는 게 가장 좋은 거 같아요 <웃음> 그치 네. 맨 백날 죽어라 이 그래머인 유즘 이런 거 하죠 책 같은 거 보고 맞아, 영어 맞아. 공부해봐 네. 수능 공부해봐 소용이 없다 어, 외국인 여자친구를 만나서 많이 싸워보고 음. 논리적으로 대화하려고 살보고 그치 싸우면서 느는 거죠 이겨야 되니까 그게 최고야 <웃음> 그게 최고죠 어. 그게 최고지 그거보다 나은 방법은 없다 그치 네. 세미가 그렇게 한 거고 늘었지 어, 그렇죠 <웃음> 그렇죠 진짜? 진짜 합니까? 그러니까 Did you u n d e r s t a n anything? Nope. No. <웃음> 이제 여기가 한국어를 배워서 이렇게 늘어야죠. 싸우고 싸우 가면서. Uh, even for the Vanessa, it's a long way to go to learn Korean. But I, I have resumed it. And let's hear some love story. Why not? Between oh, you guys. Oh, 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 oh. <웃음> They are the most young couple, like the most That's recent. That's true. Couple. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Young couple. 그렇죠. 저희 young couple에 이렇게 대변하듯이. <웃음> 아, 대부분의 뭐 여기 캐나다에서 만나는 건데 그냥 데이팅 앱으로 만났습니다. 데이팅 앱? 아, 데이팅으로 만난 거였어? 네, 힌지, 힌지에서 만났습니다. 음... 힌지. Yay! Just like음... us, dating app. 힌지? 헬로 또? 오케이 큐피드. 아, 헬로 이 오토니 프리킹 사이드. 어, 저 데이팅 앱. I knew that people were not going on their oh. tour language. Come on. No one knows. Peloton is not for that. <laughs> 얼마나 됐어요? 1년! 딱 1년 됐죠 오늘 어. 1년 되는 거예요? 아니 오늘 아니고 어, 그, 네. 그러면 힘, 큰일 났네 <웃음> <웃음> 다음 주? 다음 주에 1년? 다음 주? 와 진짜 응. 1년 아, 다음 주에? 어, 해피 애니버스리 축하해요 <웃음> So I've got a question to Veronica like, Were you ever like, interested in um, Asian guy before? Some some of my exes were actually Asian. Oh, oh shit! Okay. And, good uh, shit. But like Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> you said good no. shit. <laughs> I've never dated Co a Korean guy before. Mm. Actually, after my last ex, I told myself no more Asians. Like oh, I really? actually went to explore more like in different like other ethnicities, just like to see other if flavors. there's like maybe <laughs> like. What did you say? Crazy. <laughs> Don't put it. <laughs> I like Asian food a lot. Like. Oh, you do. Okay. I love sushi. I love Korean food. I, without realizing, it became such a big part of like my life. I went on a date like with a French guy, mm -hmm. who never ate sushis before, and I told myself. Sorry. Oh wow. Yeah, like That's well, he he yeah. said he said he ate sushi before, so we went to a sushi restaurant. But when the food came, he had no idea what it was. So mm. I was like, okay, I think the sushi he's talking about is mostly like avocado or like cucumber sushi. Mm. But he oh. never ate raw raw fish. He never ate. Mm. I realized it's gonna be hard for me to find. A non-Asian person that has the same like food taste mm, as me food taste. because food is very important for me. And honestly, for both of us, uh, when we met on Hinge, we were at the you know at that step when you're like you're giving up a little bit. Like, I was going to just delete it. He was going to to delete like his Hinge, but by chance we matched and we were like, okay, he's like the last person I want to try it with. Mm -hmm. And he told himself, okay. I'll give this one last chance. I relate to this so much. <laughs> <laughs> I want to the last chance. <laughs> and it ended up like working out. Oh wow, just about yeah. time, I guess. It was very Bravo. unexpected. Like I was actually telling myself like, I don't think I want to be with an Asian anymore. But after meeting him, I realized he's a very, like his personality is very different. Like, oh yeah? So yeah, he's like just 
I guess more mature because he, he is older than me. Yeah, it ended up working. We're happy, we're happy. <laughs> <laughs> 네, 홍석이 표정이 봐. 네. 그 X 얘기할 때는 점점 안 좋아지다가 다시 나 빌드업이잖아. 그죠? 근데 사실 캐나다에서는 데이팅 앱 쓰는 게 되게 흔한 건데 그치, 한국에서는 맞아. 사실 데이팅 앱으로 앱으로 인터넷으로 사람을 만난다는 게 되게 안 좋은 인식이 많잖아요. 맞아, 맞아, 맞아. 근데 뭐 캐나다에서는 특히나 직장인이라면은 대부분이 음. 데이팅 앱을 다 쓰고. 맞아. 저도 그래서 데이팅 앱으로 다른 사람들 많이 만났는데. 음, 되게 힘들었어요 사실 음. 왜냐면은 저는 진지한 만남을 원했는데 그런 사람이 많이 없어요 음. 캐나다 내 여성들 남성 뭐다 그렇지만 그렇게 힘든 와중에 만났는데 좀 진중한 만남을 원하더라고요 또 오. 그래서 그런 게잘 맞았죠 사실 공석이는 애초에 한국 여자 이런 건다 배제시키고 음. 외국 여자 무조건 이런 이런 거였어 아니면은 제 생각을 말하자면 저는 캐나다까지 왔는데 한국 여성분들이 굉장히 적잖아요 캐나다 근데 굳이 그렇게 힘들게까지 한, 나는 한국 분만 만나야 되라는 생각 전혀 없었고요 오히려 외국 분이니까 더 좋다는 점은 새로운 문화를 알아간다는 거 그런 점이 좋았던 것 같아요 좀 저는 모험가적인 정신이 많아서 음. 사람들이 그러잖아요 아, 그럼 뭐 문화가 통하지 않을 수도 있고 뭐 말이 안 통할 수도 있고 이런 건 어떡하냐 하는데 뭐 한국 분이랑 만나도 말은 안 통하고요 <웃음> 문제점은 수두룩하게 있습니다 <웃음> 말이 안 통하고 문화가 안 통해서 문제가 생긴다? 그, 그 수만 가지 중에 한 가지밖에 안 돼요 음. 그건 큰 맞아. 문제가 아닙니다 근데 이 사람이 정말 나랑 잘 맞느냐? 그거는 국경을 떠난 문제인 거 그래, 같아요 그래 사람 대 사람 문제 사람과 사람 대 문제 사람 대 사람 문제야 그런 게전 재밌었어요 그런 음. 과정들이 지금도 그렇고요 재밌고 그럼 만약에 막 무인도가 있어 근데 한국 여자랑 외국 여자랑 딱 이렇게 떨어졌어 <웃음> 그둘 중에 누구 선택할까? 그 질문이 너무 노골적인 거 같아요 <웃음> <웃음> 노골적이지만 대답을 하자면 저는 외국인 분을 선택할 거 같아요 <웃음> <웃음> 네. <웃음> <웃음> 잠깐 잠깐 이거 끝나야 될거 같아 <웃음> 이거 안 맞는 부분도 있으니까 그지 특히나 외국에서 사는 <웃음> 한국인이라면 은 저도 그렇게 생각하는 게 많은 것 같아요 왜냐면 은 잠깐 뭐 작년에 제가 출장을 가서 한국인 분 잠깐 만난 적이 있었는데 뭐저 제가 든 생각은 아 내가 남자로 잘못한 게 많구나 <웃음> <웃음> 내가 한국인 남자로 잘못한 게 많구나 이런 생각을 좀 들었던 적이 있었어요 남자로 태어난 게네 남자로 태어난 게 잘못이구나 음. 이분들은 뭐 내가 항상 내가 남자기 때문에 이런 걸다 해야 되구나 <웃음> 어. <웃음> 그런 생각을 많이 하는 거 괜찮아요. 아, 좋은. <웃음> 아니, 이건 제 생각을 말하는 거니까. 어, 맞아, 맞아. 저는 누구도 탓하는 게 아니라 음. 전 제가 그렇게 그냥 늦을 것다는 거예요. 그냥. 음, 내 남자라서 이런 걸 해야 되고 내 한국 남자기 때문에 당연히 이런 건 내가 해야 되고 이런 게 많은데 외국 분을 만났을 때는 그런 게 전혀 없었어요. 그냥 서로 좋으니까 만나는 거지. 뭐 누가 얼마를 벌고 누가 뭐 결혼할 때뭘 해와야 되고 이런 거에 대한 음. 그런 게 전혀 없고 그냥 좋은 만나는 거죠. 한국에서 네. 일반적인 관념은 남자가 집을 해와야 되고 음. 그 여자가 혼수를 해와야 되고 몇년전 얘기니까 그건 좀 지금은 다를 수 있지만 뭐 옛날에는 뭐 얘기가 좀 되게 일상적이었죠 근데 그게 저는 어. 생각이 다른 게 결혼할 때라고 하면 뭐 30대 초반이라고 해봐요 아니면 은 말을 그대로 집을 사야 될때 결혼한다면 은 결혼 언제? 40이에요? 그럼? 집은 한 40이 맞아. 돼야 살까 말까 인데 한국에 집값 비싸잖아요 그래, 이제, 이제는 그런 것도 음. 힘들어 어떻게 그죠? 집을 해 집을 어떻게 사? 너무 음. 비싸 I don't think there's like a certain rule I mean, either in Canada or Ukraine I think in Ukraine women they don't want to feel like secure like they don't want the men to you know give them flowers they want to make sure the guy can provide for them in case like they need any kind of support mm -hmm. but the woman you know they take care of their men too like they cook for them they clean the house they take care of the children it's an equal attention to each other since i came here young honestly i'm not actually sure of like e exact expectations from like ukrainian women towards like ukrainian men i'm trying to base myself like what my parents show me mm -hmm. i would say like traditionally flowers for us is very important mm -hmm. he knows that <laughs> <laughs> Sammy <laughs> say hi. <laughs> Where are my flowers? Where did I get flowers? For you? <laughs> someday, someday in the future. Like technically, I think any woman, if she could be a housewife, she would be a housewife. But the reality and the economy, mm. you need okay. to have a dual income to have a good life. Yeah, mm. for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's a must. Now yeah, it's a must. Yeah, but it's not only in Ukraine. It's not like only in Canada. There's like it's a little bit of everywhere. Like being a couple, having a dual income will help you achieve much more. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah, it's. Uh, What about in Morocco? I mean. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
the, e the expectation. If you could be comfortable just being a housewife and like taking care of the kids, like that's mm -hmm. something that mm -hmm. would probably still be seen in Morocco. Okay. But you know, it's evolving. That's mm -hmm. a vision or understanding that I have from many years ago. But today, how it is, there's a lot of women at work, but also there's still a lot of housewife kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're comfortable, like it, it's a choice, I would say. A lot of women, like right now, they have their businesses. They have, yeah. like yeah. even being influencer. Like I don't know, like anything to help to be independent. A lot of women actually mm. do still do that. Yeah. So. But I think understanding is from we have immigrated in Canada when we were at a young age. So yeah. it's not like the most recent understanding of how is it to right. yeah. 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 So like that <clears throat> disclaimer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> not uh, maybe not not. Not what's happening in both our countries. What about in Canada, Bibi? Oh boy, well, if we are talking about up until Second World War, it was mostly gender roles were way more like prevalent. So the men going to work, the women staying at home, raising the kids and doing the um, house chores. Do you say chores or chores? Chores. chores. <laughs> okay, it was right, it was right here. <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea. <laughs> of course, let's talk about, yeah, house like cleaning and stuff, cooking. But of course, like, I, but I think it was the same phenomenon in the, ones, in the US when uh, most of the men were at war. Uh, women needed to get to work to keep the economy, you know, keeping the mm. economy. Mm -hmm. And this is where there has been a big shift, like after the Second World War, you saw more women going to work. So I'd say this is where the big shift came. My grandparents' generation, my grandma was um, the one staying at home while my uh, grandpa Papi, <laughs> which is in the <clears throat> channel, he has been working. Someone in our viewers is able to like have just one person in the relationship go to work and the other stay at home with the kids and you're still able to get by good for you mm. to be honest I think this is always the best and I'm not saying necessarily mm. woman can be sure. doesn't matter the gender but if one of the people in the couple that stays home raising the kids is always better than dropping the kid at kindergarten but in this economy... Canada is expensive. Yeah. Yes. It is. In <laughs> I, inflation. Yeah, inflation. Yeah, yeah inflation so. is bad. What <laughs> inflation is bad? What do you want to do with inflation? What do you want to do with inflation? I'm going to buy a car and a car. Why do you want to buy a car? 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 I don't know. 떡상 가야지 가자! 